You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. Do your job. Do your job and do it the right way. This game is not about talk. This game is about physical and hitting people and knocking people on their back. You're not going to talk anybody into a loss. You got to prove to them by being physical, prove to them by executing at a high level that you're the man and that they came to the wrong ballpark on the wrong night. Let's come locked and loaded. Let's come jacked up. Let's come ready to play. And let's play as hard as we can play until they say, hey, you can't play no more. Welcome into Terrier Vision and Gibbs Stadium, where this evening the number eight ranked Terriers take on Samford in the Southern Conference opener for Wofford and Samford's second Southern Conference game of the year. The Terriers are one and one coming off an open week. Samford also with an open week coming in with a record of one and one. They are 0 and one in the SOCON. A year ago at Birmingham, Eric Breitenstein rushed for 227 yards for the Terriers, but Wofford eked out a 10 three victory over the Bulldogs. Let's go to the highlights. Second down and six Terriers at the 46. This time out of the gun. Allen Ford handoff. Breitenstein wants to make left corner and does to the 40. First down run to the 35. And he will be knocked over at the Sanford 33. Two receivers right, one to the left. Out of the gun, Mitch Allen. He'll take the snap from Ty Gregory with two backs alongside him. They're going to run the reverse. Here comes Burst into the far side, and he'll take it to the 25 where he's tripped up in the open field. Terriers line up to go fourth down in a yard. Breitenstein, the fullback out of the wing bone. Mitch Allen behind his right guard, Nate Page, surges to the 11. First down, Terriers. He got enough. First and 10 from the Bulldog 11. Allen with a single back flanking to his right hand off. Breitenstein cuts left, back to his right to the five. Breitenstein pulling the pile all the way down to the two yard line. Omar Johnson, the free safety, was the first guy there, but he had to be gang tackled. Bursts into the outside, a wing line up to the right again. Allen out of the gun with Breitenstein behind him. A pistol formation. Everybody tight on defense for Sanford. Breitenstein right side. Crashes over the goal line. Touchdown Terriers. That's a physical run by Eric Breitenstein with a lot of physical help from an offensive line that's really asserted themselves on that opening drive. Two receivers split to the left. The outside man is Brown. One receiver wide to the right is Truss. He's well behind the line of scrimmage. Direct snap, Kelsey Pope left side. Hit at the two, tumbles ahead to the one, and he's in. Touchdown Bulldogs and Kelsey Pope, they have the lead. Two receivers left, one to the right. Mitch Allen out of the gun, backs behind him on either side as they run out of the double deuce. Three down linemen for the Bulldogs in a three-point stance. And they put six, seven in the box. Hand off, going to come to the near side. And Donovan Johnson has room to the 20. Stumbles, makes it to the 30, to the 40. As a blocker out front in Burson, he's to the 50, to the 45. Donovan Johnson finally corralled at the Bulldog, 43. Ball on the left hash mark. Burson to the short side. Again, two backs along with Allen out of the gun. Toss far side again. Donovan Johnson has a seam. 35-30 up the far hash to the 20, to the 15. He'll be tackled at the 12 first down Wofford. Comer with the snap. It's a good one. Spot down. Plenty of distance. End over end kick is good for Christian Reed. And the Terriers cap the drive with a field goal. Moving into the later stages of the second quarter, third and three from the 16. Two receivers right. One comes to the left for Mitch Allen out of the gun. Singleton will snap him the football as it looks like Mitch is checking off. He overlooks a four lineman down formation, seven man front for Sanford's defense. And it's a fake of the dive. Allen turns left corner, first down run for the quarterback to the 20, to the 25, and he drags a tackler to the 26. Sanford four down lineman, Breitenstein and Allen look to the sidelines as the Terriers are gonna check into something else. Play clock at five at four. Allen under center to take the snap. Man in motion right is Farrar. Play action, deep drop, throws it down the middle. It's caught at the 50. Stumbling catch made and down at the 37 yard line for the Terriers is Brad Nocek. Two receivers right, person to the outside. Ashley to the short side of the field. That's the left. And again, 
Allen out of the gun with backs behind him. Johnson and Breitenstein, three down linemen for the Bulldogs, seven in the box. And it's a fake of the dive. Allen turning right corner to the 10. He's to the five. He will score standing up. Touchdown, Terriers. 51 seconds to play in the first half, and the Terriers go back up in what has been a seesaw affair here at Gibbs. Terriers will start out of the wing bone with Breitenstein, your fullback. Man in motion near side is Boyce. Allen with a pitch far corner. Brian Yeoman, first carry of the night, 35-40. Hurdles a tackler to the 45, and he'll finally be stopped at the 46. Allen again out of the gun, two backs alongside him. Samford three down lineman. Allen again dropping to throw down the middle. Ashley's got it on a slant pattern at the 21. He is dropped there. A completion of 21 yards and a Terrier first down. First and goal at the eight on the right hash. Pistol formation with Allen out of the gun. Hand off Breitenstein to the five. Breitenstein to the three. Breitenstein pulls his way in. Touchdown, Terriers. That was good, hard running by Eric Breitenstein right there. The Terriers hold the ball for close to six minutes to start the third quarter. 9-12 to play, third period. Terriers third and two now from their 38 and a half. Out of the gun, Allen. And he hands it away. No, he faked the handoff to Breitenstein. Pitch left corner, big room, Donovan Johnson, 50, 40. Donovan, far sideline, 30, run out of bounds at the Sanford 23-yard line. Two backs behind Allen, out of the gun. And he's gonna fake the handoff to Breitenstein. Right toss, comes away to Donovan Johnson. Sidesteps a man at the 20 to the 15. He'll be run out of bounds at the 12. Man in motion right. Is the halfback no check? He'll go back and set up. No check again comes in motion to the near side. Hand off Breitenstein right up the middle to the five to the three. Falls forward to the half yard line. It's going to be first and goal. First and goal from the half yard line. Breitenstein, your fullback, wing bone set. In motion near side comes no check. Hand off Breitenstein. Second effort. Touchdown, Terriers. And again, they're right back at it. Tolliver, shotgun snap, under fire, gonna lob it deep down the field, near side, caught by Pope at the 25 to the 20, keeps his feet, beats a man at the 10-5, touchdown Bulldogs, and they're back in this ball game. Samford never went away in this ball game. Sanford's gonna knock somebody off before the season's over. It's your final score here from Gibbs Stadium, home opener in the 2011 season. The Wofford College Terriers, 38, and the Samford University Bulldogs, 23. Coach, you knew it was gonna be a physical football yeah. game, and it certainly was. Talk about that first half and the fact you went into the break up one point. Well, we were glad and lucky that we were up one point. Uh, they came to play. Uh, Sanford's always a tough team, and uh, Coach Sullivan does a great job. They're a fundamental football team. They don't beat themselves, and uh, we had uh, some good play, but uh, kicking game got us early. Uh, we gave them a lot of great field position. Uh, our defense played great all day, and uh, because of the short field position, uh, they were able to go on uh, score early, and uh, fortunately we responded, uh, had a great day with running the football. We had three backs that went over 100 yards each. Quarterback uh, Mitch Allen was fantastic, did a great job. Uh, Eric Breitenstein and uh, Donovan Johnson had great days, uh, a great day. Uh, you look at defensively, uh, did a great job of uh, containing a very explosive offense and uh, they've shifted their offense around. They're very similar to uh, Clemson. Uh, I think that's the style now that, that's going around and uh, they, they've got some excellent players. That, they've got kids that uh, are big and physical. You look at them defensively, offensively, uh, their, their interior people are, are big kids, uh, athletic, and, and then their, their school kids are, are really good players as well. And again, Patton and they do a great job of coaching. So you go into the second half and you put together about a six minute drive to start the third quarter and right. it, it looked like ball control was important to you guys tonight. Well, wh what we want to do is just try to hold on to it and, and keep it out of their hands. Uh, they're, they're a team that, that possesses receivers that, that can beat you deep and running backs that, that can 
definitely uh, take it to the perimeter and take it to the distance. So what we wanted to try to do was uh, keep the football, uh, keep our defense fresh, and then when we had to play defense, uh, hopefully be explosive and create um, either a three and out or a takeaway. And uh, again, our, our defense played really well. And uh, I, I thought our offensive line did a great job as well. They they, were, uh, they lined up in uh, a couple different fronts. They were slanting their front. They were in bear. They were in 4-3. And, um, and we adjusted very well to it. I'd imagine kick coverage will be a point of emphasis this week. Well, uh, we, when you look at it, uh, they, they did a nice job of scheming us. Uh, once we realized what was going on, we kind of tweaked it a little bit, and then from there on, we we we, we had a great day with the, the kickoff coverage. So uh, we have a lot of work to do. We we've got to stop beating ourselves with, with all these penalties. I'm not exactly sure, yeah, you know why uh, it's being called, but uh, it is being called. So we we're going to address it, and we're going to make sure that those guys understand that uh, you, you can't be out there and expect to play if you're going to create problems for us. Appalachian State next. They struggled today, beat Chattanooga 14 to 12. Have you had any chance to look at anything on them yet this year? No, no. We, we, uh, we stay focused one week at a time. Uh, if you look at Appalachian film, you, you probably get scared. So, you know, we're, we're going to do our best to uh, prepare and, and be a better football team because we're going to have to be a better football team. I think everybody in the country that, that follows uh, our level of football realize that, uh, that they've been one of the, the top programs for a long, long time, and they have outstanding athletes, they have playmakers, and, uh, and, and you've got to have a great day if you're going to have a chance to beat them. Eric, this was a ball game, one point at the half, what was going on in the locker room at halftime? You know, we knew we could handle them. We were giving them great field position. Our defense was playing outside their minds just to be able to stop them. And then, you know, we figured out in the second half, did a lot better job. There's still a couple of issues we got to work out, of course. But, you know, we uh, pinned them back deep a little bit, and our defense did a great job today. Whoa. What was it like you and Donovan and, and Mitch all went for over 100 yards tonight? Offensive line, man. Every time. They did a great job, fought their tails off. I mean, we were getting untouched into the linebackers several times. Donovan, I think, probably had about 15 yards before he got touched a couple of times. That's unbelievable. That's fantastic. Appalachian State next week, uh, they've gotten the best of you the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, well, whatever. The past is the past. It don't really matter. I mean, they're coming to our house. Uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere, a great game. They're a great team. And, uh, you know, we both got one week to prepare, and we'll see what comes out on top. So the Terriers win their Southern Conference opener here at Gibbs Stadium, 38 to 23 over the Samford Bulldogs. Wofford goes to two and one overall, and now the eighth-ranked Terriers get ready to host the number three-ranked Appalachian State Mountaineers next Saturday night. Earlier today, App State won their conference opener, beating Chattanooga by a nose at Moon, 14 to 12. Kickoff time next Saturday here at Gibbs will be three o'clock. I'm Mark Hauser, thanks for watching Terrier Vision.